spiritual leadership is a very special kind of love. We have viewers from all over the country and in other parts of the world, and many are not Catholic who are watching us. What is it that characterizes the spiritual responsibilities of an archbishop? Gee, I think I'm still trying to identify them so that uh, I can adopt them and grow into them. Uh, I, I can say to a degree, I think, what I feel the needs to be. I feel the need of, of uh, praying far more than I ever felt before. I've always recognized the criticality of prayer, but uh, in this current situation, uh, I find myself uh, just increasing the amount of time that I formally pray and the amount of time that I'm, I'm reflecting, uh, not simply on the problems, but on the need for divine assistance. Uh, in terms of the, the leadership itself, spiritual leadership, I, I think that there are, are two, two uh, factors that are absolutely indispensable. I believe you honestly, sincerely have to believe in the worth and dignity of every human person as made in the image and likeness of God. There can't be any sham about that, and you can't make any exceptions. You have to, if you believe that the unborn is a person, then you have to have the same concern for the unborn. The person in a wheelchair, the handicapped, the elderly, those in the streets, the homeless, those in our soup kitchens, black, white, men, women. So that, I think, just has to pervade everything that you do. You have to ask that question about every plan you uh, initiate, every action in which you engage. Uh, whom am I dealing with? Why am I doing this? What is this for? Whom is it for? Uh, here we have almost two million Catholics, and we have what, some seven and a half million people in the city and millions more in the uh, archdiocese, every one a person. So that's one. I think that has to be a passionate conviction. And the other, you really have to love. And it has to be a love that goes beyond mere liking. Uh, it has to be a love that's not repelled by people who don't like you. You can't simply cringe under criticism, uh, run away. Uh, if you're under siege, under attack, for attempting to articulate the, the truth, you have to say to yourself, I still have to love those people because uh, you're very critics, uh, those who might, uh, might uh, almost ferociously disagree with you. They're still persons. They're still made in the image and likeness of God. And you've got to love them. These at least are the two things that I, I try to use as... Uh, as criteria, whatever other mystical, magical qualities or charismatic gifts a spiritual leader should have, I don't know because I don't pretend to have them.